Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously and help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Generation Selects Shattered Glass, Optimus Prime, and Ratchet. This decal set includes five decal sheets, a combination of vinyl, foil, and clear-backed decals. Now I'm going to break up this decal video in two separate parts. One video for Optimus Prime and one video for Ratchet. So now let's take a look at Ratchet both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Ratchet here has a pretty unique collar scheme. But unfortunately, he's pretty bland outside of his base collars of white, aqua green, and purple. But taking a closer look at the figure, I do like the minimal paint applications he does have here on the face. With the dark gray, the red eyes offset by that purple crest, I think that looks really good. It's got some purple up here on the shoulders. Big translucent window right there for the chest that you can look through and see all his robot innards. And I really hate how they didn't even give the wipers paint applications. On the regular Ratchet figure, the wipers were at least painted black. These are just molded with the same color as the rest of the windshield. I don't like the green right here. I wish that was at least white. Uh, let's see, he's got gray fists, some gray paint applications right there on the side of the legs, and really, that's about it. I mean, he's really cool looking, just very, very bland. So there you go, guys. One final look at Ratchet in robot mode before and after. Ratchet here gets quite the horror movie look, thanks to Toy Hacks. The first decal you're probably noticing is the new windshield decal that looks fogged over and cracked. So I really like how that looks. Now this windshield decal is in three pieces. You've got the big main sticker decal right here and then two smaller decals that go underneath the windshield wipers. Ratchet also gets new purple crosses right there on the shoulders that have a little bit of blood splatter. Down here on the forearms he gets new decals and this one right here has a DNA strand on it. Right here inside the shoulder, he gets new silver decals and silver decals right there on the side of the arms. Now, a cool little hidden feature, if you open up Ratchet's chest, he has a pain scale meter right there in the center with different bumblebee faces. And I think that is hilarious. Also, his chest opens up into a tray of surgical tools. So that is just wicked. I love how that looks riveted in. That is really, really cool. Get that locked back in place. Moving on down the legs, we got new decals right here for the upper thighs. New decals here on the lower leg that show metal plating. But we're going to get more into these in vehicle mode. And here on the side of the legs, we've got vials of mystery green liquid. I love this. And the icing on the cake for this set, bringing up Ratchet's fists, he's got blood-soaked hands. That is just sick. I love it. Great job, Toy Hacks. So there you go, guys. There is Ratchet in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Ratchet's still a little bland. Though he does have a few more details that pop on vehicle mode, than he did in robot mode. And the first one you're probably noticing is the purple Autobot insignia right there on top. 
along with the red and gray light bar. And I do like how that looks. On the front of the vehicle, he has a gray bumper and grill area, and he's got these little headlights. Those are just kind of the white from the rest of the vehicle and the grills painted around them, but still looks pretty good. Got that big green spot right there. Translucent windshield showing up again, and he's got new translucent windows here on the side. They're on the front and right there on both sides. The other windows are just molded in, but we know Toy Hacks is going to fix that. He's also got gray stripes along the side of the vehicle and gray wheels. And really, that's it. Well, you got the purple thrusters here on the back, and that's all she wrote. So there you go, guys. There's one final look at Ratchet in vehicle mode before and after. And would you look how cool Ratchet looks now. I love this decal set. Now, of course, we've got the big windshield decal that we saw in robot mode. But now he has new window decals here on the side. This one right here has some blood splatters and a handprint on it. We've got a new decal right here that extends the gray striping all the way to the front with some purple stripes. A new purple cross right there with some blood splatter. Across the top, it says Salem State Hospital, which is a reference to One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. The windows have now been replaced with metal plating, which I think looks really cool because once you go inside Ratchet, you are not escaping. And he's got Dr. Feelgood in graffiti right there. That, of course, is a reference to the band Motley Crue from the 80s. There are also some blood splatter right there on the door. He's got some graffiti right there showing a meat cleaver. 0013 here at the top, which, in my personal opinion, I'm going to say that's a reference to Friday the 13th. You also have the option of 2016 which is a reference to Shattered Glass Ratchet's first toy appearance. On top of the vehicle, we've got a new cross with blood splatter. Here on the front, we've got a decal that says Meat Wagon in bloody writing. Now you have Meat Wagon as normal, or you have it reversed right there. I went with normal because what does Ratchet care if you see him coming in your rearview mirror or not? He's still going to run you over. Got nice new wheels right there. I love the look of those. On this side, this window decal, more blood splatter, and it says, help us. And that is a reference to this right here, issue number 70 of the original Marvel comic series, where Ratchet and Megatron were fused together in a freak space bridge accident. There's also some graffiti right there of a hypodermic needle with more green liquid. On the front of the vehicle, he gets a new grill and headlights. One headlight on each side is busted out and a vanity license plate that says Ratchet. There's also another option that said Hide, but I went with Ratchet. On the rear of the vehicle, he gets new taillights and that is it. So there you go guys, Ratchet in vehicle mode after. Now, I've seen a few different complaints on Facebook regarding the Toy Hacks decal set for Shattered Glass Ratchet. They're saying that this decal set is just way too much. All the blood, the 80s references, it's just overkill. But me personally, I love it because I could actually see Shattered Glass Ratchet kidnapping humans and experimenting on them, maybe even making Cybertronian enhanced cyborgs to use against the people of Earth, and the noble Decepticons. Plus, Ratchet in Transformers Prime was voiced by Jeffrey Combs, who us horror movie fans know as Dr. West from the Reanimator series, who used vials of green liquid here to reanimate corpses. So I think this set is fitting. As an 80s kid, as a hardcore horror movie fan, I love it, and it just fits this evil ratchet perfectly. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, make sure and check out my video of the Toy Hex decal set for Shattered Glass Optimus Prime 
using the link right here. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. hoo <laughs>